legs are heavy. Them are 19.5s. So, um, them came off the dually. And we got six of them, but I think we're going to do just five. We may do six. Anyway. This is how you carry bricks, all right? All right, so we're really close to five feet. That should be good enough for four or five tires. And these bricks in between them, I'll show you what I mean. All right, folks, in the hole. Let me move the tripod here, but uh, you can see what we've got going on here. So you can see the different layers of soil. Now, this has uh, been dug up just a, a couple of years ago. It was actually dug up over here, and as you can see, I threw some clay on top here but um, you can see the different layers of soil and we got topsoil of course we've got clay that I put on there we've got topsoil which is a good six inches or so and then we've got somewhat of a, a gravelly let's take a peek at it we got somewhat of a gravelly type clay type soil now this is going to take the liquid because of these rocks they're all throughout here and then we got some more just kind of uh, red dirt that's I don't know if that's clay but it's red dirt and then we get more into the red more gravelly type stuff so this is gonna all do really good believe it or not so yeah I've got the uh, I've got a pretty uh, level on bottom and that's what you want for sure doesn't have to be perfect, but you want it halfway level. Huh? Well, all right. Can you see that good? All right, so I've got these bricks. And on these, now you don't have to have anything this thick. You can do something, you know, an inch thick or so. It don't have to be this thick. But this is what I've got. This is what I'm using. So I'm making sure these holes are this way. All right, let's do another tire, folks. All right. All right, let me explain to you what these bricks are for. They're so that there is a rise in each tire. So each tire I put on, there'll be a void, and that'll be so liquid can go through that. Liquid can go through right here. Uh, oh Lord! Don't 
be tough. Now, don't worry about the dirt going in between because once that dirt is packed, that, that's not going to happen. There's not going to be enough dirt that gets down in there that's going to affect anything at all. All right, so, yeah. So I think what we're gonna do is use just five tires. I have six, but we're gonna use five. Yeah. Okay, so, let's see. All right, so the top one, the top one I'm not going to, uh, the top one I'm not going to put the bricks on it. Uh, I, I really don't want sewage leaking up this, this close to the surface. That's, that's perfect how we've got it. Yeah, so you can make this absolutely as many tires, you can make it as many tires as you want it, folks. You don't, it, as many as you want, it just, just doesn't matter. It's, it's all in how deep you want to dig. Now, don't think you can't hand dig this because you can. Now, it wouldn't be near this this big I used I used the excavator so uh, yeah so when when you dig it'll roughly be about a 38 to 40 inch in diameter circle and and you can dig it by hand so yeah we, we could do 10 of these tires of course I don't want to get in that hole a 10 foot hole but you could do that many and that's for sure let's get down in there all right so i put the top one on and as you can see yeah so that's the top one and that'll with the dirt on it and all it'll seal that off pretty good where liquid doesn't go through there See that? I see these. So water is going to be able to water is going to be able to just flow right out into the soil. Of course, the soil will be packed in here, and it'll just absorb right into the soil.
and then we've got the floor of it all the the ground floor that'll absorb as well and so what this is it is basically a tank field line combination a tank and field line combo it's uh it it, it acts as a septic tank and a field line all right i took the top tire off that way i could get in here and get a good look Good grief, that's tough. Alright, so like I said, you don't uh you don't have to use bricks. If you don't want that big of a gap, I mean that's a two and a half, two and a quarter inch gap. You don't have to have that sort of gap. You can you can use something why well, you can use something that big. That's for sure. Now this isn't going to last forever, but it will last a very long time. What's going to happen with a septic tank and field line combo is that eventually after about, well, let's say three people live in the house, I would say that probably if you never cleaned it out within three years, you would have to just cover it up with dirt and do another but if you clean it out it'll last for years and years so you have it pumped out every now and then or just simply take a bucket and dip away huh yeah so that's it folks well it's not it we, we've got more to do let's uh let's go ahead and drill our hole and run our line in here the line coming from the cabin the house the shop uh, the garage, the mother-in-law suite, or that 20-unit apartment complex. All right, folks, so three and three-quarter is what I'm using. And I've got a three-inch pipe, Schedule 40, and that's going to work out pretty decent for me. See that? Right, so I'm going to put it... I'm going to put it pretty far up, high, so towards the top of the tire. That's where I want it. Oh boy, I've got a uh, dead battery. Oh, brother. Alright folks, I'm doing it the old fashioned way. Yep, I'm all out of battery and I don't have time to fool around, huh?
Oh, good grief. Yeah, I'm gonna cover her in. Pack it in for you so you can see what it looks like finished. Now you can use just about any kind of lid that you wanna use. Screw that down, that'd be awesome. All right, let's, let's cover her up a little bit.
All right, good Lord. Nothing but work. All right, then. All right, that's it, folks. Well, you see, she looking good. All right. Look at that. Ah, oh, you can't beat that. Well, that's it, basically. Uh, yeah, let that dirt harden around it, and it'll be good as new. Now, you, whatever lid you put on there, you make sure you screw it down. You don't want a kid falling in here. This would be terrible. I guess if a tornado comes, I can get in that, huh? So, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Let's go on down. Check it out. Remember, this one is flush. And you got that one. And you got that one. And so on and so on. Oh, that's it. Woo!